Today we're working on the 98 Honda Accord EX again, and we're replacing the driver's side seat belt. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because when this car is purchased, it came like this. There is a nice tear in the seat belt. Any tears like that in the fabric of the belt completely destroy its ability to do its job in an accident, which is stretch, catch you, and not snap. So there is a high likelihood that in a high impact accident, this seatbelt may just snap. Um, and judging by the damage across the belt, it looks like um, maybe some melts from maybe cigarettes um, and some cuts from, uh, honestly, it could be anything um, that just kind of kept tearing through the fabric. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace it. I am replacing it with a used uh, Honda OEM belt from the same color car. So it's going to be a blue one. This is considered blue belt, even though it looks gray. It's a pretty easy <clears throat> install. Uh, it's going to look more or less like this when you come inside the driver's side door. Camera's a little dirty. There we go. Much better. So over here, with the door open, you're going to have a little gap right here in between the trim. You want to take a flathead screwdriver or a trim tool, stick it in there, bend this a little forward, and it'll bend off of its little hook right there. And then you'll be able to just pull it in, and it'll pop free. It may get caught on the back here. You shouldn't need to open the door. You should just be able to bend it around and pop it off. This whole piece comes off. And on the inside, you can see there are, where are they? There they are. There are just little clips, like right there, little clips that hold it in. And those just pop free around the edge of the pod itself. I'm just going to set that in the back. And then you're going to go up to your uh, belt adjuster cover. This is what lets you adjust the belt. You're just going to stick a very thin flat head right in there, and then this will just pop free like that. I do the same thing on the back side, and this guy will just come off. Set that aside, and that gives you access to your bolts right here. And your bolt at the bottom of the belt <coughs> is down there. And then, <coughs> excuse me, you're going to have access to the bolts that hold in the seat belt here. I am gonna pause this and start taking some of that off. So I got it all off. We've got a 14 millimeter bolt up here. We got a 14 millimeter bolt down here at the bottom of this guy. Sitting like that, 14 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt up here, and then down here on the ground. Your little guy down here, it's got this cover, you just pry it up and pull back, it's a piece of rubber, 14 millimeter as well. I found it a whole lot easier to do this with an impact, because um, with seat belts, these bolts are kind of long and fully threaded, just a lot easier to just pop them off with that. Um, I did have a lot of trouble with this upper one, uh, it's extremely tight and it's got Loctite in the threads, so we're going to take note of that and put Loctite back in it. These are bolts that obviously you never want to rattle loose or start to loosen themselves, especially with a belt constantly swinging back and forth on them. So we got our old assembly out. We're going to get our new assembly in. Um, any bolts that your new belt doesn't come with, just uh, reuse them from the old belt. The bolts all should be good. Um, you know, while you're in here, maybe it's a good time to do a little housekeeping, get some of the I guess dog fur and dust out of here. Um, if you are caring to do it, I know that some people do, um, add some insulation under these uh, pillar covers and behind like the seatbelt area. Uh, a little more insulation goes a long way in keeping the outside road noise outside. But that's pretty much it. We're just going to put our 14 millimeter bolt back in, 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to put our 14 up here. 14 down here and then we're gonna pull it make sure it works catch it make sure it catches that the belt's good and then we'll be putting the upper cover back on um, pillar cover 
over here and then just sliding that cover on the bottom there. And that should be it. Uh, double check that the belt goes into its uh, socket in the seat. You know, all the good things you want to make sure the belt works before you go to try and use it. It'd be fortunate if you went to try and use it and for some reason the belt didn't go into your socket in your seat. But that's pretty much it for uh, replacing a seat belt here on a 98 Accord. This applies to all 98 through uh, 2002 Honda Accord, same generation. It's essentially a copy and paste procedure from 1990 through 02. I'm not sure if they changed the belt design in the 03 gen, but I doubt it. They're pretty straightforward um, the designs of seat belts, pretty much the same bolt patterns and bolt sizes. If you guys have any suggestions or comments, um, leave them below. Let me know what you think about the video. I've got a few others to upload as well, just haven't had some time. Thanks for watching and tune in again.